Hi guys, and welcome to a short educational video on Dijkstra's algorithm. Today, me and Swatantra are going to be running you through what exactly Dijkstra's algorithm is. Now, firstly, I'm going to be explaining what a graph is. A graph is a form of abstract data structure. Yes, huh? Oh, this is a bit close. In a graph, a piece of data is known as a node. Also a vertices, but yeah. Each node is connected by an edge, and each edge is assigned a numerical value, also known as the weight. Graphs can be both directed, where edges can only be traversed in one direction, and undirected, where edges can be traversed back and forth. I'm now going to pass you on to Sandra, who's going to explain how these terms re Hello and welcome to the main point of the video. Dijkstra's algorithm. We will start by making an undirected graph. This is a weighted graph so each edge has a weight. We will have the starting node be the altar and the end node be the end portal. We want to get from the hero Brian summoning altar to the end portal in the shortest time. The starting node will have a cost of zero as we are already there. The other nodes will have a cost of infinity as we do not yet know the cost to get to them. The cost is the imaginary distance between the start and the current node. The basic principles to repeat are, 1. Find the node with the next lowest cost. In this case it will be the start. 2. Find its direct neighbors only connected with an edge. 3. To each neighbor add the weight of the edge connecting it to the previous node and the cost of the previous node. Store your node as the path to the current neighbor for pathing purposes. 4. If a lower cost is found for a neighbor node reassign the lower cost in the path needed to get to it. 5. Once a node has found its lowest path possible assign it as visited. Six. Repeat from start until you find the shortest path to your end node. Remember that this is only a visual representation that may not be accurate. The visual size of edges could lead you to believe that something is further away than it truly is. Due to the fact that you have found the shortest path to the end node you can use the stored previous nodes to find the path to it from the start. The path will now be outlined to you. And, we are done. Thanks for watching.